This is CBS. Coming up next on Night Desk, some Birmingham residents enjoy their very first Thanksgiving tonight. We'll have that story. And we'll also tell you how the newly renovated Birmingham Airport is handling the busiest season of the year. And in sports, UAB has its home opener tonight. Doug Bell will tell us how it came out. Night Desk is next. There are a lot of places to shop today, and everyone claims they have the lowest prices. At Gobro, you'll find that our prices are not only competitive, but most times even lower. And even more important, you'll find knowledgeable sales associates who give you the service you deserve. Customer service, quality, brand names, large selections, and low prices. All of these add up to the reason we've been serving you for almost 100 years. We will make a building that dominates the skyline. But blend as well. Imagine the world's greatest architects collaborating on one building. No a sense of history. I want to make history. If they don't share the same vision, well... Fortunately, in business communications, there is a company that can combine an array of services with your ideas to structure a system that your business can build on while avoiding the pitfalls of collaboration. Your Metro Birmingham Ford dealers present The Plan, a new way for you to drive the newly designed 1992 Ford Crown Victoria for just $3.49 a month. And that's $3.49 a month for just 24 months. That means you can drive new every two years. Just $3.49 a month. Plus, you get a 36-month, 36,000-mile warranty. You only pay for what you use. So, if you want to drive more car for less money, ask about The Plan. At Adamson, Long Lewis, Ernest McCarty, or Jim Skinner Ford. Food World will have, you know, specialty items, you know, usually based uh, specifically for a holiday. Oh, all the good things. The ham, the turkeys, the dressing. I find everything I need for my cakes and cookies uh, at Food World. We go wherever it takes uh, to get the product we need for the holiday. We'll have all kinds of the little North Fort pines. We'll have all of the Christmas plants and poinsettias, beautiful poinsettias. For the holidays, I'm going to shop at Food World. Food World, your holiday headquarters. This is the look of Birmingham. News for the 90s. Barbara Boulding. Catherine G. Doug Bell Sports. And Fred Barnhill with weather. This is WBMG Action News 42 Night Desk. These UAB students sit down for their first Thanksgiving feast. Good evening. I'm Barbara Boulding. Catherine has the night off. Most of us can't imagine a year without a Thanksgiving celebration, but for hundreds of international students, this holiday is something totally foreign. As Andrea Lindenberg reports, the students were given a lesson on giving thanks. Most people will agree that one of the most important elements of Thanksgiving is a great turkey. Combine that with lots of friends and family, and you have the perfect celebration. But what if your guests don't know a thing about Thanksgiving? I knew that the Americans are real fancy about that and it's a holiday, but I didn't know that it has a historical background. The food is an important part of Thanksgiving, and judging by this plate, it's a major part of the holiday. But tonight, these students and scholars learn the real reason behind Thanksgiving. The children of the students and scholars gave the crowd a crash course on the true meaning of Thanksgiving, a skit on everything you could ever want to know about the holiday. Many agree the history is the most important part. It was a joint effort, so they all got together and thanked each and every one. I think that's, that, that spirit is important. Others say the family reunions are the most important part. That's what I feel and that's what I've seen because most of my friend, American friends have gone back home to celebrate Thanksgiving with their families. But some of these Thanksgiving first-timers say all that history and family stuff takes a back seat to the real joy of the day, eating. Tell me what your favorite food is that you had on Thanksgiving today. A <laughs> <laughs> trip on Thanksgiving. Consider it a new international twist. Andrea Lindenberg, Action News 42. And this is the seventh year UAB has sponsored a Thanksgiving meal for its international students. 
Thanksgiving has become synonymous with turkey and dressing, family reunions, and, of course, crowded airports. But as Mickey Ferguson tells us, the Birmingham airport may be busy on this Thanksgiving Eve, but that doesn't mean it's inconvenient for travelers. Any local frequent flyer can tell you about all the renovations going on at the Birmingham airport right now. They just built a new multi-level parking deck, constructed new ticket counters, put in an upper-level roadway with four lanes, and the middle section of the airport terminal is closed for renovations during the holidays. With all these changes underway at the Birmingham airport, we gave travelers every opportunity to complain about something, but no one complained. No one. No, no problem at all. In fact, the person I'm waiting on, uh, their flight is 10 minutes early. So it's great. I, I, I'm really pleased that they have uh, done the renovation to the airport. Yeah. Uh, there's been no problem at all. Airport spokesman Carol Wyndham says she's hearing the same kind of response from passengers. Uh, this operation at the airport is running very smooth. Even though we are in the midst of our construction program, it's been going on for about a year and a half now, but uh, the traffic coming through the airport is really, it's, it's smooth. Uh, people are finding that it's more spacious and really convenient. And Wyndham says for those travelers who might be a little confused with the airport's new changes. We have put in place uh, some airport ambassadors that help travelers as they come through our airport. And believe it or not, they say, you know, it's so wonderful to see a smiling face to help me through the airport. Thanksgiving is annually the heaviest time of air traffic across the country, even busier than during the Christmas holidays. But even with construction going on at the Birmingham airport right now, passengers are finding they can fly the friendly skies with very little hassle. Mickey Ferguson, Action News 42. And the state highways are also busy this Thanksgiving Eve, filled with holiday travelers. Public safety officials predict 20 people will be killed on Alabama roads during the Thanksgiving holiday period, which began at 6 o'clock this evening. Last year, 21 people were killed, and at least seven were alcohol-related. Only one of the wrecked victims last year was wearing a safety belt. A transportation bill approved by the U.S. House includes one9